Hey guys, it's time for devlog number 7. The changes I've made since last time is I've increased the resolution. Um, so each of these squares are now 128 by 128 instead of 64 by 64. I have added a lighting engine that still needs a little bit of work, but it's working pretty well. And I've polished up level 1. So I thought I'd show level 1 in its very near complete completion form. And uh, in the during the mission I will the lighting will show itself. So let's get started. I've added this dialogue here at the beginning. Welcome to our fishing village, Toria. I heard you were coming. So this story is uh, going to be explained before this level one and sort of like an intro movie. So Godric is the name of the guy, the bad guy. And um, so he passed through this village. And the mayor of this town is now explaining where he went, what he did. And some dialogue that will be interesting for, for you when you play it. Not so much now. So, our next mission. Follow, select your hero and follow the mayor of Thoria to the marked area. So over here. The increase in resolution has... I've just scaled up all the graphics. I haven't changed any of it, so... It might not, not look very any better than, the, than, it, than it did last time. But. So these are the men that are left after the bad guy cursed the rest of them. So it just explains how to control the units. Select all things, six things shooters. Load them to wall. So as I hold down the right mouse button, I can change the direction. Target practice. I'm gonna shoot all of these targets. <laughs> I took down all the targets, so there's a new like, dialogue. Outlaws incoming, I have a scout over here. Stay on those walls. This outlaw scout can do nothing. So this guy over here is actually not my unit, it's an ally, which is another thing I've added. So he will control himself, but I have no control over him. Yes, he's like well, he's, he's the member of this a member of this village and he doesn't know I'm here. So let's split up these units. I can add units with control one and control two. So you can see the lighting engine is starting to show now. This is getting darker and it's a little evening colors to the to the air. You can see it more and more. These little torches that I've added, which are just like everything else, temporary sprites, light up the area. We restore the morale of this village. <coughs> and there we go, level one is complete. I just have to move this guy over here. Another thing I've added is I can click the map, minimap to move in. That's pretty nice. But before I go to the next level, let's just create some torches here in the night. Oh, and the 
the torches don't remove the fog of war, as you can see. Review the fog of war. So I have to have a real unit for that. And if I put the light sources on top of like a tower, they don't the environments around them don't cause cast any shadows. So that's the lighting engine. Let me know what you think. I'll move him here over here and I can show you a extremely work in progress uh, in between mission screen. So this is just a map I took from the internet and I made a, did a made up path here that the army will follow. So I was over here and it moves and now this I'm in the forest so this is the next mission. And on this screen you will have the ability to you can have like your army down here the, and everyone that's following you including your hero, so you could click him, bring up some um, options, like level, leveling him up and choosing spells for the next mission, um, <coughs> and lots of other stuff that add to the like RPG elements of the game. But, like I said, this is just <laughs> to uh, I'm just very much a placeholder. So the next mission is pretty much just like we've seen it before. And that's it. So I hope you like this. Let me know what you think of the lights and uh, and everything. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.